Good evening, YouTube. General Soul back with Grandia. We are in the Valley of the Flying Dragon. Right from the start is an item you can pick up some money. And the map that I'm using for this place is not very good. And the area is a little confusing, especially with that map. So you're going to see me get lost a little bit and backtrack a few times because... As I said, the maps is not very good. <laughs> so, anyway, here's our first new enemy. I think it was Red, yeah, Red Devil. Um, they're not particularly weak to any magic. They're not particularly strong, that I can tell. So, I do kind of need to get my weapons leveled up. So, we're going to just focus on weapon damage. There are four different types of enemies that we can run into. This first section only has two. The Red Devils and these things right here, which are the Plop Mold. Most dangerous thing about Plop Mold is they can poison you. So you, any of them that's got the stars going about, you want to kill quick, fast, and in a hurry. Uh, the Red Devils, they basically just hit hard. They'll do about 15 to 20 damage. What a fish. But they're not too tough. I mean, right here is an antidote. Very good for those uh, flop things that poison you. Uh, let's see. Come up here. Let's get past that fight. And okay, there's money right there. And then I kind of look at my map and realize I missed money back here. So I just got to figure. Okay, we can get there from here. Okay, now we can move on. Okay, there's where the antidote was. Can't go around there, so we have to come around this way. Oh, more enemies. Here's our, our little uh, v eagle view. Yeah, kind of can tell why the map is confusing. <laughs> Just looking at that eagle view is like, that doesn't tell me shit. Alright, now... I think we go this way. Yeah, this is the way we go. So I kind of slowed down there because I'm trying to see where I'm going on the map. Here's some money and some enemies to fight. Looks like three red devils. Wasn't too bad. But if we continue up here, we have another enemy and some more money. And then we can go back. Oh, there's an item up there. I was looking for that item and found the money instead. Looks like bread, but it is an effect. A bam fruit. And then I'm like, where the hell did these guys come from? Oh, does it matter? Uh, oh, there's our way. Yeah, and we have another eagle view. Still doesn't tell me jack shit. <laughs> anyway, continue along this way. More enemies to fight. And right here we get cola. Now I'm just, I'm kind of like, okay, where am I supposed to go? Ah, this way. All right, there is our path. Come down this way. And this will lead us to Valley of the Flying Dragon 2. Alright, so immediately I'm looking at the map for Section 2, and it's just as confusing as 1. Alright, run up this way, we got some red devils. Okay, so, seeing the river, now I know where I'm at, according for, per my map. Ow. Quick heal. Okay, here's us a new enemy. These are 
slipples. Now, I tested magic. They do seem to be weak to fire. Um, but they're actually so weak that um, you can pretty much one-shot them with your weapon. So I wouldn't even waste magic on these things. I just, for the first time, I was like, okay, maybe I can kill them with fire. It's testing my magic on them, but... After subsequ subsequent fights, I just used physical attacks and Justin would kill one per strike. Fina had to get a level up, but when she did, she was also able to kill them one per shot. Justin getting close to a level up. Then we have some more enemies. Come here. Alright, let's get our eagle view. Doesn't really tell me much. And right up here is our next item. And because we get this cutscene for Sue's shoes, I'm like, I miss that there's that path right there. When I turned around like that, one, I didn't even notice it. Two, I'm like, eh, I guess I don't need, I came from there. So I realized whenever I got here and saw where that was on the map, I'm like, okay, I went too far. So get this item here, a vaccine. So I'll quickly, now I've realized, okay, I need to go back a little bit. I've missed something. I also, because there's that chest right there. So that's the item I was looking for. If not for that cutscene, I would have known to go up here. And I would have gotten it anyway. And inside this chest is a resu potion. And I've got so much stuff that I need to drop something. Whew. I'm looking over what all I've got. Yeah, we're getting so many of those little herbs there that I could probably drop one. I went ahead and used some items on me to heal up so that I could pick up some stuff. And now we can cross the river. We want to go north. And I see that money there, so yep, we're going to do some more backtracking because... I didn't notice that before. Uh, I don't know why I didn't edit this out. Oh well, we'll leave it in for here. As you see, just physical attacks take them out real quick. I honestly don't know why I didn't edit that out. I guess somehow I missed it. Anyway, uh, item here is more uh, magic fruit. I uh, went ahead and used some items for healing so that I could pick up more stuff. So now we got to figure out where that path is to that money there. Uh, by the way, the green bags of money is 120 gold, while the uh, red bags are like 320 or 340, something like that. And now I figured out where I'm supposed to go. Take these guys out here. And 120 gold. Now we want to go back across the river and go south this time.
more enemies to kill. And after we kill these enemies, we will get a cutscene here in a minute. Move up towards the money, we'll get the cutscene. I know that puff. Yeah, we're Sue. That's kind of what we're looking for. Alright, alright. Show us where she is. Sounds like she's in danger. Must be getting ready for a boss fight. Anyway, let's get the money. That's more important. And we have this scene here. It's a very nice pot of stew. <laughs> yeah, where's, where's Sue? What? What's next to a cauldron? Oh. Um. Well, I don't see Sue sitting in the cauldron. And she's stew. She might be delicious. And who are you? Hey, you. Is this pot yours? What happened to what was inside? Are you hungry? I'm afraid I ate it all. There's nothing left. Oh, Tina! That does it. Hey, come on and fight. I'll take you on. I'll make you into stew. Ha! <laughs> you and I in a duel. Well, how about that? I'll be glad to take you on. I am Gatwin, Knight of Dight. And boss time. This is an unwinnable battle with Godwin. You will do no damage no matter what you do. And after a few turns, he's just going to say, fuck it and kill you. <laughs> so right there, he looks like he is blocking. So immediately, I'm just like, I'm going to raise my defense. He's very quick, as you can see, so I'm going to basically gain XP with my Earth Magic for a little bit. Take that. But it doesn't matter how hard you try, you are not beating Gadwin. So even though it seems like it gives the effect that I hit him, you notice I did zero damage. And he's done. And we got fucked hard. Oh. Hey, there's Sue. Uh, who's? the other person there. <laughs> flying dragon stew. Is it made out of flying dragon? 
Dr. Alma. Hmm. That's a lady? I thought it was a young boy. Okay. Take your word for it. Why does your uh, tent look like a fish? So it's going to rain. So what? Don't worry, they won't melt. Shit runs. Well, that's because you're rude, Justin. All right, we get a meal and then a rest. So let's just talk to everyone until they just start repeating. She didn't exactly faint when she saw the cauldron. She more fainted when he burped on her. Oh yeah, what kind of work is that? And why are you all shocked about him asking me to be a man, Fina? Yeah, let's take it. Oh. Well, I wish you'd come out of the tent to tell us that so I didn't make a fool of myself. Oh, well, Justin's going to do that anyway. Bad Puffy. I mean, if dragons live here, I haven't seen one. None of the things I thought would be considered dragons. All right, so she's repeating herself. All right, there we go. Talk. Gadwin now. Uh, I don't even get a chance to ask the other two questions because once we ask this one, I get asked a choice and that locks me in and I can't ask any more questions he basically just tells us go, shut up and go to bed Okay, select, of course, a man-to-man -man promise, and you unlock the trophy Warrior Bud, which means Gadwin joins your party. And so, yeah, now I've tried to ask the other two questions, but he is not going to answer anything. He just tells me, shut up and go to sleep. I'll check and see if Sue and Fina have anything new to say. <laughs> well, you're acting different, Fina. 
All right, so he's going to show us Dite Village, huh? I don't know if since he's a knight and we go to Dite, why we can't go at night. Anyway, now that we got Gadwin, as you see, he is a level 30 character, so he is leagues higher level than the rest of us. Which means he is just going to destroy everything. It is now easy mode. He has fire and earth magic. And uh, you see he's got what spells he's got. And he's also, here's his skills, which use some earth and fire magic as well. The uh, and now that we got Subex, and now we got finally a full party. Now, this level or this area is again very poorly mapped. You're gonna see, I basically get to the end of this section and then realize that I have missed a section right at the very beginning to get a treasure and money. And so I make the run all the way back to the beginning, get those, and then make my way all the way back to the end. Now there is one new enemy in this section, so don't worry, those of you that are wanting to see uh, Gadwin fight, we'll see him in a minute. So a lot of um, you need to break away these rocks to get to areas in this part. There's our new enemy. Rockman. Doesn't look anything like him. He's not wearing blue. He doesn't have a blaster arm. Don't call that Rockman. All right, here's Gadwin. He's very powerful, as you can see. He'll basically one-shot just about anything. Um, it seems that the Rockmen either are immune to magic or take very little damage to magic. So I wouldn't even waste magic power on them. It's not even worth it. It's just a waste of SP or MP. In fact, the one that took damage, that was from Sue's arrow. That wasn't even from the spell. Thankfully, Godwin's got enough defense because of his high levels that that barely does any damage to him. And that is all the monster types that are in this area. So we're going to skip all fights from now on. I mean, I'm going to fight them, get the XP, but I'll just edit them out here. And there's a mana egg right there. There are two mana eggs in this forest here, this valley. So right now, I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do. Haven't quite figured it out, and I'm kind of like coming back over here, and I'm just like kind of looking at the maps like, yeah, there's supposed to be something that I can go through on a bridge. And then I kind of hit dawns on me. It's like, okay, this plant kind of went up so yeah we it's like a spiral staircase and it's after I kill this that I'm looking at my bat map and realizing oh there was a path at the beginning that would have led me to a treasure and gold now I have to go all the way back to the beginning of the section to do that. Hooray!
Head down here, break these rocks. Oh, look at that. We would have had rock men right at the beginning. And, oh, there it is. I saw it. I'm not, I hadn't seen it as I'm playing, but I see it now behind those rocks. I saw, I'm thinking that this is something that I have to grab onto, and then I finally see it here. And we get a pile seed. So there's money on the other side of that, and I'm trying to figure out how to get to it. I'm thinking that this thing, because it speeds up when we get close, I'm thinking maybe we can grab onto it and it'll sling us over there or something. Now, quickly figure out that's not the case. So I start looking around, I was like, ah, a path. Now we can go back to the end. So yeah, I probably could have cut maybe five minutes off of this video if I had known, if I had had a better map. There we go, back up, and nothing there. Venture around here. I know there's at least one more enemy. Okay, I was looking for this bridge here. Not two enemies. Because there's money right there. Back down, kill this last enemy, and we can go into Valley of the Dr Flying Dragon. Four. No new enemies in section four. Right, so we got that money. This one's not as confusing, Al, but uh, I do actually end up leaving the section and then coming back because I missed something. Get that money. Kill these guys. And there is our second mana egg. Two mana eggs here. Um, now I don't know if it's entirely or not. Or if it's just for right now. But Gadwin doesn't seem to be able to learn wind or water magic. So... Basically use those mana eggs on Justin and Fina. And I end up actually getting Justin done where he's got all four elements and get Fina. Well, you'll see it in the next video. So Fina will be almost done. I'm not focusing too much on Sue. Okay, there's where I left and I know I missed something. So I'm coming back. You see the money. So I'm trying to figure out how to get there. Like, well, maybe I can go around this way. Thinking maybe I missed something at uh, where the mana egg, but no, I didn't. So, yeah, if you guessed, are you supposed to break that big ass rock? Yeah, that's exactly what you're supposed to do. is everything we are done so i will see you guys in the next video as we make our way to dite village